The haunting update is finally here for Call of Duty. That means they added the new Lupa SMG. This kind of works as the pseudo season six reloaded update. So today we're getting the Lupa SMG Dark Aether. Also really quick, right here, right, right, right here. As you can see, my girlfriend went ahead and painted my logo onto a vinyl. So shout out to Nay. But whenever we switch to this, it is, uh, it's, it's mirrored. So if you guys could say thank you, Nay, in the comments, because she's a little upset about it being mirrored, that'd mean a lot to me. As you can see right here, I just got done leveling this weapon up in multiplayer. It's level 50. We still have a few levels to go, but we can now unlock every single camo in zombies. We have the option to now. But I'm also using the blueprint for this weapon that came out in the shop. I didn't want to have to go through and do all the unlock challenges for it. I'm pretty sure we're going to knock out a few just playing with it today. But we need to go ahead and add some attachments to it. I really don't like the iron sights on this weapon, so I'm going to add the Cobra Red Dot. We'll go with the SOCOM Eliminator. We'll go with our Lancer Barrel. Ember Sighting Point. Bruiser Grip's already on. I think we'll go with the 50 round mag. We'll go with the Serpent Wrap. And I think we're going to go with the SAS Combat Stock. So since this update has come out, I have not played any zombies yet. I've seen a little bit of gameplay where it looks like there's actually jack-o'-lantern heads like you can see here on Hallow's Eve Outbreak. We will be playing that for a video. Be on the lookout. But those jack-o'-lantern heads have a chance to drop items like chalices, aether wrenches. So this is going to be kind of crazy. Let's go ahead, hop on Forsaken, and try to get this done. Where are you, Forsaken? There you are. All right, here we are, making our way on Forsaken. I still love this operator skin. I'm so glad I got it. There is the new Scream skin, but I literally just unlocked this, so I need to use this operator for a little bit. Also, here's the inspect on the Lupa. This is the blueprint, so it's a little different, but... The inspect is pretty basic, just like a normal weapon. But I do like how uh, how the mag on this looks. It's almost like a nutty bar. Oh, yeah. See, they do have jack-o'-lantern heads. It's not just a special mode. It makes getting crits a little easier. I wonder if the hitbox is bigger. It doesn't look like it. And you can kind of shatter it off. It's almost like a helmet. Kind of weird. And since we can get dropped from these jack-o'-lantern heads, I'm a little more comfortable staying in the first room for a little bit. Because normally I try to leave, you know, relatively quick, even though I know I can like rack up a few crits early, but just trying to kill the abomination gets difficult when your gun isn't like upgraded very much. But so far, the gun seems nice. The fire rate's decent. The damage output isn't anything crazy, but nothing pack a punch or upgrading it can't fix. I just realized the big issue here with these drops is these zombies aren't gonna drop anything if they're mid climbing. Oh wait, I just saw something drop. There's a jack o' lantern right here. What do we get? Oh, we got armor and an ammo mod. We got cryo freeze. Let's go. We got the perfect ammo mod to start. This is the best one for grinding. And we got level two armor. It's level six or it's round six. We have level two armor. Ridiculous. Oh, well, there's no jack lantern on the ground. I need that. This is sick. Oh, there's our stroke camo. Please don't die. Oh, in a scare package. I'm opening it. What is in it? An aether wrench. What do we get out of that? Another aether wrench. So we can upgrade it here. We can upgrade it again. And a death machine. This mode's cracked. Hold on, stun the zombies. I need this death machine. Thank you. I'll repair my armor. But what the hell? We're already at our wasteland camo too. Maybe we don't even need to leave. Okay, this is sick. This is a lot of fun. Okay, now this is epic. So I kind of don't even want to sit on truck for like as long as I can because I don't want to be missing out on these drops. I have an idea. I'm going to go over here by dead shot. Oh, this is not dead shot. This is death perception. We're going to ring a fire and get these crits. I also kind of want those double points. I'm gonna grab those. Easy. We're flying through these camos. Another double points. Tormentor's got them on too. It's not just normal zombies. I wonder if Elite's got them. Let's grab another double points. A max ammo. We take those. Oh, it's the Lapa. I was calling it the Lupa. Lapa D's. Once it's round 10, we'll go ahead and dip out of here. I'm just having too much fun with these drops right now. There's our, our Entropathy camo and our Zebra camo. Easy stuff. Okay. I'm gonna pick up all the scrap and then we're going through. I'll spare the rest of these zombies. Oh, we gotta wait. We have all 30 seconds to get some kills, so let's do it. Get off me. We have a jack o' lantern on the ground. What is it? Another aether wrench. Let's go. We already have this to pink. And we got another tier two armor. What's that on the ground? What? It dropped a crystal. We already have one of the crystals for the wonder weapon. What is going on? I'm leaving. This is probably the coolest mode they've added to zombies so far. At least in this game. This isn't even like a mode. It's just how zombies are right now. Because we already have a purple level weapon. Oh, another scare package. Let's open this up. It's like Christmas. Brain rot and a chopper gunner. That's pretty good. Let's get this loose change. All right, pop this open. Get this one open and we go through the teleporter. We already have 30,000. We're gonna be able to pack this like at least once and then grab any perks that we want. Pack, shut your mouth. I'm enjoying this mode. I should probably start grabbing the parts then. I have all this money. Let's get that. Get this loose change. 
Also, a new Easter egg has been discovered on this map with this VHS tape right here. If you want to see me do that? I'll have a link to that somewhere on the video. There's another part. Let's grab this. Oh, another scare package. What we got? What we got? What we got? A ray gun? What? What is this? Oh, jeez. It just blew up. Give me the ray gun. I just want to have it on me. You know, I got to keep that thing on me. Where's the flashlight? There it is. Oh, another jack lantern dropped. Zombies, you got to stay still for a second here. Actually, I'll just take you out. Everybody leave. Blue tiger camo. Two jack-o'-lanterns. This is too much fun. It's like gambling. It's literally like in-game. Oh my God, it's a mimic. This isn't fun anymore. Oh, the mimic had a pumpkin head. How adorable. Okay, another jack-o'-lantern. Please don't be a mimic. Level two armor and a sentry gun. I can't believe we have a ray gun at round 11. Oh, there's another scare package in here. What is that? A chalice? We can pack a punch this already? Let's go. This is so sick. This is the best time to be playing zombies right now. But this is what the, what is this? The Lapa? This is what the Lapa looks like with pack a punch one here on Forsaken. It's pack a punch name is Bo boy, boy, Una, boy, if you don't, that's what we're gonna be calling it. All right, let's try to fix the teleporter. Don't kill me, please, zombies. Back. This is our glacier camo. But this is so nice because we can get our pack a punch camos done so fast now. This is fun. I, I honestly, I don't even care about camos right now. I just want to play zombies. Let's pop this door open. Go ahead, abomination. Spawn in right about now. Bring a fire. Abomination is going down. Easy. Oh, there's a max ammo. Give me that. Bring that here. Jeez, we have pack one and a purple weapon before we even turn power on. This is insane. If we do the perkaholic Easter egg, you can be set up by like round 15, like completely. So we grab pack two. This is what pack punch two looks like on the Lapa, the Lupa, the Ds. What, what are we calling this? I forget. Looks pretty nice though. Well, let's go ahead, head back to the bunker. We're going to hit up the Wonder Fizz, grab a few perks, and then we'll be good to set up. Okay. A lot of zombies spawning now. None are nearby right now. Let's go ahead, grab quick revive, jug, speed call, stamina up, dead shot, uh, death perception. We'll get the rest later. Or we can just loop around here until we get them all. Extortion camo. We're getting extorted out here. I'm extorting them for loot. You even get 10 points for destroying the pumpkin, which is pretty cool. Also, amphibian camo and contamination camo. Okay, let's grab what else do we need? PhD slider, and then we can get meal kick in a second. But for right now, I'm going to just sit right here and kill any zombie that comes in, including you. Oh, another pumpkin. What do we get? Is that a chalice? A silver chalice. Oh, we already have pack two. But there's another aether wrench. Let me pick it up, please. And we have it legendary. Didn't have to spend a single piece of salvage. Oh, you know what we could do, though? Double pack our ray gun. We're not even going to use it. They're just throwing stuff at us. Look, another aether wrench. We can't even use it because our weapon's already fully leveled. It is a fun time to be playing zombies right now. They're literally just throwing everything at you. Okay, now we just need... Oh, we st we're still a little off from getting mule kick. So just a little more money. We'll get mule kick. Then we won't ever have to buy ammo. And then we're good to just grind this out. Another jack-o'-lantern. It's a mimic. I guess it is trick or treat, but it's mostly treats. Okay, we just need to thin out the herd a little bit so we can grab mule kick without getting injured. Oh, we thinned out the whole round. Okay, there's mule kick. Let's get out of here. I'm going to... Actually, no. I was going to go to Derizon Drac, but we already have everything we need, basically. And that will not allow us to get critical kills. Don't ask me why I'm taking the long way to spawn. I went the wrong way. I guess that kind of answers the question, though. Go to bed. He just said, go to bed. That's what I say. Mason watches the channel. This abomination's camping the scare package, dickhead. Okay, I'm ring of firing and I'm taking him out. Goodbye. Gotta make sure I'm getting my crits. Double points. We can get some points, too. Points never hurt nobody. Glitch camo. There's some intel on the ground here. Let's open the scare package. An aether wrench, an artillery strike, and a silver chalice. So we're going to need a gold chalice if we want anything Pack-A-Punch 3. This gun sounds very satisfying when shooting it. But the Pack-A-Punch, like, noise that it gives. You know how, like, when you shoot a Pack-A-Punch weapon, it almost sounds like a laser gun? Combined with the gun's actual, like, shooting sound, it's amazing. Look at this. Floating hat. Floating hat. Why is the hat floating? Regeneration camo. 150 kills while it's pack a punched. Even in Ring of Fire, it sounds sick. Oh, playing with fire. Speaking of fire, we just finished one of our uh, challenges to unlock this gun. And they got a max ammo for us and a jack o' lantern. What is it? A silver chalice? Come on. Give us a gold one. Save us the money. Disciple? Oh, he has a jack o' lantern head too. Too bad it's gone. Same with the rest of his body. Idiot. He killed. I think everything but the abomination has a jack o' lantern head. I haven't seen a mangler yet. Oh, we got two jack o' lanterns. Let's open them. Do they have anything? Oh, tier three armor. Let's go. One had an aether wrench, but fell down here. A flamethrower and another ammo mod. Oh, there's an abomination. I was just talking about you. Get out of here. Scram. I'm not getting very many crits right here. We got a few jack-o'-lanterns on the ground. I want to grab those. Let's open it. 
What is it? Is that a gold chalice I see? I think it is. Let's go. What's in this one? A mimic. Go away, mimic. But here we go. This is pack approach three on, on the, the Lapa, the Lupa, the Dual Lipa. Looks pretty sick. So we've gotten this to legendary in pack three and only had to pay for pack two. And we really didn't even need to because we got a gold, a uh, silver chalice like right thereafter. So right now you can kind of just play without having to do anything. Just kill. You don't have to do any upgrades. They'll bring them right to you. It's cool to see chalices and stuff in round base. Because that's such a cool addition to Outbreak. Also, we just got our grudge camo just then. Only a few zombies left. And we got a few jack-o'-lanterns too. Open that. Another gold chalice. Let's get pack three on our ray gun. Easy. And what is this? Another gold chalice. We got three gold chalices in this last round. This is ridiculous. The first room strategy has never been easier. More jack-o'-lanterns to open. This is like the most fun part. Another gold chalice and another ray gun. Two gold chalices right here. Look at this. Look at this loot. Two free pack-a-punch threes and a ray gun. So they basically just dropped me a pack-a-punch three ray gun and a pack-a-punch three just on the house. This is insane. If I was playing with people right now, we'd all be fully looted out. Okay, open this jack-o'-lantern. What we got? Another gold chalice in this one. A gold chalice. Oh, wait. Aether wrench. Wow. And look, two ray guns are on the ground right here. One, two. And I'm already holding one. Ray gun is so easy to get now. Oh, Mangler gets a jack-o'-lantern head. He also gets killed. Idiot. Oh, shit. Bring a fire. I'm not even aiming down sights. Let's open a jack-o'-lantern. We got time. What is that? The crystal axe? Give me that. Oh, I don't... I didn't mean to have the ray gun out. So we have a ray gun and a crystal axe. All just from jack-o'-lantern drops. Is there... Is there a chalice around? Is that chalice still over there? Did we get this to pack three, too? There might be one in here. Oh, my God. There is. Look at this. Pack three. Pack three. Pack three. We are so set. The box is basically non-existent in this because they just bring you any weapon you want. Any wonder weapon, basically. We got our downfall camo, though. I think that's 250 while pack a punch. I could be wrong. I didn't read it fast enough. I was too distracted by just the wonder weapons getting thrown in my face. There's our boundary camo. 750 crits. We're like on par with crits and pack a punch right now. We're very close. In a max ammo, right as I'm running low. What's in the jack-o'-lantern? A mimic? Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. What's in this jack-o'-lantern? Another mimic. Get out of here. I think these ray guns are going to stay here. Do these ever despawn? I wonder how many we can just stack up. Honestly, the Halloween event's probably going to be very disappointing on Firebase. It's just going to get nothing but ray Ks, and they're kind of trash. Even after the buff. Uh-oh, an abomination. Ring of fire. You need to go to sleep, pal. It's past your bedtime. But they are starting to be able to climb up here with uh, not that much resistance. Unless I have a ring of fire. No nuke, please. No nuke. Don't need that. No, thanks. You can take it away now. Why does it sound like the bullets are whispering by my head now? Or wisping, whatever it's called. All right, nuke's finally gone. We can move freely. Oh, I didn't mean to fall off. What is that? A hand cannon and an aether tool? What about this one? Oh, another crystal axe and a gold chalice. And this one is a war machine. Drop armor, please. You know what? Watch this. I'm gonna have to buy armor like a pleb. I hear a disciple. Where is it? All the way over there? Leave. Oh, in an abomination. Our ring of fire is about to run out. You need to die. Please and thank you. Oh, get away. Get away. I have no health. I need to run. Bloodshed camo. Let's go. This is the first time I've had to run. Oh my god. I thought that was armor and it was a mimic. All right. Let's take them out before they can climb up. Not looking like it's going to happen. We can fight our way. No, we can't. We got to leave. Holy shit. Round 31 is really a game changer. At least for this spot. Oh, shit. Let's grab the insta-kill. Please don't kill me! Oh! Back on the truck! Back on the truck! Perfect. We did it. Honestly, I'm switching to decoys now. So if we have to jump off the, the truck at least, like, once a round, we might as well just, like, train them up, toss a decoy, and get crits that way. Kind of like what we did for the iron hide. We got another decoy. Let's toss it. Bring a fire and take them out. Easy. We got these elites, too. Oh, we got another challenge done. Okay, what is this? Another ray gun. Let's go. Three on the ground. Tempest, get the fuck out of here. I'm buying more decoys. There's our drench camo. That's 1,500 kills while pack a punch. Pretty good. Oh, jump off. 42 health. They call me 42 Doug. Okay, quick little train. Toss out the decoy. Get some nice crits. And toss another decoy right here. Grab that. Use a little ring of fire take that out. Throw another decoy. Please give me the free crits. Thank you. Okay, this is getting a little crazy now. You need to leave. Get the fuck out of here. The rest of these zombies can eat a decoy. Oh, look at these crits. 
Jeez. Open this up. Mimic. No. Bad. We're at 2,000 kills, 1,300 crits. Man, our crit ratio has fallen way off. We need to step our game up. I think we'll have to put these decoys to use for that. Fuck. No. Nade. It had to happen. Oh, I still went down from it. And a nuke. So I have to use my self-revive too. Man, that was unfortunate. Okay, let's grab our self-revive back and we need perks. I think we still have our ray gun. We just ring a fire and chill here for a bit. And then we'll go get our perks in a second. Not that many zombies left in the round. I'm gonna go get my perks back. We went down and still have $261,000. Absolute insanity. We can grab PhD while we're right here. Out of the way, zombies, please. Decoy's going down. Okay, we got everything that we needed back, including our crystal axe. Oh, we didn't Tony Hawk at all. Tony Hawk! Oh, that was weak. Tony Hawk! No way. Zombies, you guys gotta stay right here. Please. Tony Hawk! And... Tony Hawk! Wait. Tony Hawk! These are weak Tony Hawks. Did they nerf it? There we go. They definitely didn't nerf it. That's it, baby. Okay, here's what I'll do. I've seen people sit over here by death perception to get crits and to do high round strats and all that. So I'll try sitting right here just to get crits. Worst comes to worst. We have a ring of fire. We have decoys. We can nade ourselves out if we really need to. Looking pretty good for crits so far. There's our threshold camo. See, we're already getting the crits back. I'm gonna start throwing decoys down though because our ring of fire is ending. Literally perfect timing. Another decoy. Literally getting unlimited decoys right now. Mule kick is so clutch. How did the decoy get all the way over here? That's what I want to know. Doesn't matter because we're out of there. That was actually really nice. Maybe we should use that spot more. Okay, let's go buy some more decoys before this round starts. Okay, going to decoy. I have a feeling the ring of fire is going to end any second now. Okay, cool. No! Nade, go! No, it happened again. The nade went off too late. Get me up. Okay, we're up, but for how much longer? We kind of need to dwindle down this round before we try to get our perks back. Let's do one of these. Disciple, you need to go. These are the most annoying enemies. Tempest, you're pretty fucking annoying too. No, 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 no. 25 health. Gotta run. How to be dead in one easy you just give a quick tip quickie? You said how to be dead in one easy lesson. Okay, ring of fire. Oh, the round ended. Fuck. I did not want that to happen. We gotta be fast. Go through the portal. Run. Where is it? This way. Got PhD. We have three decoys. I think we can swing this. The round's starting like right now though. A okay, decoy is going down right now. You throw another one. I didn't have enough time. No, 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 no. No crystal axe. Just decoy. Another decoy going down right there. Enjoy that one, zombies. That shot stamina up. I think we're good. Holy shit. Tony Hawk, one time for the one time. Ah. Uh. No, 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 not again. Oh. No. Fuck. God damn it. For a second there, I thought the mangler saved me. But they're all just knocked down. We're struggling now. They've gifted us everything and we're we're fumbling it. Oh shit. Fuck. Zombies clear out. Please get the hell out of here. No mimic. Bad. Get out of here. Oh, there's our rotten camo. And there's our down. Jeez. Can I stop going down, please? I'm not managing myself very well. We're at five downs now. Of course we went down right at the start of the round. This is gonna be tough. Oh shit. Shit my fucking asshole. God damn. I'm going to try to take out as many zombies as I can while I'm on the ground. I got to stop going down. I can't keep running back there and getting perks every time. It's going to take forever. I should honestly just start using my death machine. I try not to use other things like that. I only use like nades and stuff when in desperation. Because I just want to get as many kills towards our camos as possible. Let's check out these jack-o'-lanterns. It's been a while since we've been able to open one stress-free. And actually, I've seen a strat with the, the ARCXD, the ARCXD. I want to try it. We're already over a thousand kills over our crits. Ugh, you fell off plus ratio. But this is the strat I wanted to try. RCXD Let's pull out the RCXD and sit it right here. <laughs> and it's free gaming. You. Look at this. Literally don't have to do anything. It does it for me. Death from below. Easy RCXD. We can literally just keep it here. So it's done. We just got a calling card for doing nothing. <laughs> and we still get our death machine back. Man, this is taking longer than I thought it would. Still pretty sick though. Having some fun. That's all that matters. We're about 600 crits away. So hopefully we can get this done before like level cap or round cap or health cap. What the hell is it called? I don't even know. Hey, we got our marksman badge for it. There's our chemical camo. We're all done with our our normal kills. I'll pack a punch. All that's left is crits now. Ring of fire. Take out these disciples. Fucking hell. I'm down again. Almost got a ring of fire. We're almost there. There we go. And I'm down. Again. That sucks. I'm going down like every round. On Abomination, just die for me. Please just die. 
Do me a favor. What the fuck? He just floated in air and hit me with his tail. Oh, my Lanta. Round 49. So with nine deaths, we still need 400 crits. It's taking so much longer now that I have to run to Wonder Fizz at the end of every round. Oh, wait. Let's grab armor before anything happens. No! No! Run! Holy shit! I saw death in the eyes of that Mimic. Actually, Mimics don't even have eyes. Fucking idiot Mimics. Oof, round 50. Jeez. Climb this. Fuck the Disciple up. Oh, let me out! No fucking way. I'm gonna lose my mind. I can't believe the amount of times I've gone down. It's actually ridiculous. That was such a stupid move jumping up there, but I wanted that Disciple dead. Oh, uh, fuck. I can't even stay in there. I gotta go. Oh, self-revive. No, they actually trolled me. Mimic trolled me. I'm dead. Fuck. We're literally just what? 200 crits away? No way I'm losing. Ain't no fucking way. Just in case, decoy's out. We're buying a self-revive and we're staying here. I'm not fucking leaving. Okay, just guys, focus on staying alive here. That's the main goal. Crits are cool, but staying alive is cooler. Okay, disciples down. Another disciple down. Climb, please, no! Everybody fuck off. Especially you, Mimic. Okay, let's self-revive. Let's buy another one as fast as we can. Fucking Mimic, stop spawning. Like, jeez, leave me alone. How about that? You ever think about that? I don't think so. Let me think about yourself, Mimic. No, you're not fucking grabbing me, Mimic. Okay, we're all out of death machine. Another mimic spawn, so that's sick. How many we got now? Three. Sweet. We're all out of decoys. How are we gonna do this? I do have a ring of fire. I just don't want to kill these crawlers. I bet I won't kill them over here. Okay, but I'll die, which is fine. We're used to that. Can I buy a self revive fast? I can. Holy shit. Fuck this. Okay, quick revive. All this. Give me it. I'll take all of it. Okay, 46,000 is all we have left for our name. We can't keep going down. Okay, here's what we do. We're going to nade to get our ring of fire. Nice. We're going back here. Ring of fire. Try to get as many crits as we can while also nading. Okay, this is a very bad idea. That was a... I'm never going to that corner again this high of a round. At least not with this gun. Anytime a zombie gets even close to me, I'm just bolting. I, I can't afford to go down anymore. Quite literally. There's no way I'm starting a whole nother game just to get like 100 more crits. Oh my Lanta. Come on. 140 more crits is all we need. All right, let's try this. Please be enough. Please. Okay, dropping down. Go ahead, zombies. Turn around. I'll come back up. Same shit. Oh, no, no, no. No fucking way. I'm literally less than 100 away. Here's what I'm going to do. Gersh. I actually don't know why I did that. Oh, well, I can, we can buy decoys. That works. Okay, we're at health cap. I don't have all my perks. We're going to have to live with it. I literally just need 87 more crits. That's it. I'm going to throw a Gersh to start the round, actually. That way we can get our ring of fire. Okay, once they're getting in. Okay, throwing it. Grabbing the decoys. Now we have our ring of fire. Let's use it. Let's go. Throwing a decoy down at the bottom. One more decoy. We're all out of them. No mule kick to help us. Okay, now we got to move. Okay, the elites are gone. Let's keep moving. Get as many crits as we can. Holy shit. Holy fuck. We're 60 away. And okay, maybe I just need to nade a few of them. That helped with the ring of fire. Just need a few kills now. There's our ring of fire. Let's drop down. Let's not get caught in the same thing we did last time. Oh, I think ring of fire is killing too many of them. We're not getting any crits. That's not good. None of this is good. Oh, shit. I've never struggled so hard to get a camo. That's not true. The ZRG and the Ironhide were really bad, actually. We only have like two zombies left. We need to get our perks back just to be safe. For the 18th time, we've literally almost 18th. I almost guessed that. We're at 14 downs. This gun is not that great once we get to higher rounds. As long as these zombies know how to stay the fuck away from me. Yeah, hit me out of the fucking machine, dickhead. Okay, we're out. Come on, please. Just need a few. Oh, not a fucking abomination. Oh, we just fried it immediately climb it please bring a fire this is it this has to be it i'll expect nothing less than gold viper right about now please where is it show me it you want a decoy right at the edge here there's gotta be 22 crits somewhere in here oh my god shatter blast you're a fucking asshole okay death machine fuck both of you we're at round 57 i cannot believe how long this has taken six crits that's all we need. Six. Then I'm busting out the crystal axe. I think there's a melee challenge to fully unlock this weapon, so we might as well do it. Okay, that should be it. 
That's got to be it. Show it. Come on. Where's it at? No way. Don't tell me I've gotten crits with the ray gun. Oh, I'm going to be so pissed. Fuck all you. I'm nading. Okay, we have a ring of fire. Come down here, zombies. I'll train you around for a bit. Decoy going out. Ring of fire. If that's not enough crits, I don't, I don't know what the fuck's going on. There we go. Thank God. Okay. We finally got it. Jeez. My Lanta. Okay. We already have Dark Aether, but I need to go back, get Mule Kick. That way I can get my Crystal Axe. And one of the challenges for the Halloween event is to get, I think, five back-to-back -back melee kills and zombies. So it shouldn't be too hard, especially if we have the Wonder Weapon. So I'm going to try to do that. Keyword is try here. It's actually kind of good that we went down. All the zombies can run away. We'll crawl our way to the Wonder Fizz. I'll self-revive, maybe even throw a decoy, grab my stuff. We can go back to the truck and just sit there and swing. I know past round 44, it's not a one-hit kill. But it shouldn't matter too much, especially if we're tossing decoys and stuff down. Okay, we're almost there. I don't care if we lose Jug and we have to revive it back. Actually, I'm going to do it right now. Okay, quick revive. We got Mule Kick. This is what we needed. Now let's go. All right, we're back to the truck. Just going to sit here and swing. It's one hitting now. What the hell? There we go. I think we just need a bunch of Butcher Medals, at least five of them. So I'm going to do this till I see a pop-up. And it's round 58. Okay, Ring of Fire. Just so we can do a little more damage. Okay, it's not helping too much. We're still getting Butcher Medals, actually. Okay, it's actually helping a lot. That bonus damage from Ring of Fire helps. How many of these Butcher Medals do I need? There it is. Oh, wait, no. That was a different challenge. There it is. Butcher's Bill. And really quick, I'm going to go ahead and Google the rest of the challenges to see if I can just get it done in this game. Because without it, we won't be able to check what Dark Aether looks like on the Lupa because we got it done with the blueprint. Okay, so it looks like we need to get kills while on Aether Shroud and need to successfully exfil. So let's try to do that. Honestly, we can just ray gun it out now that we have our melee kills done. Idiot. So we just got to survive two more rounds. Okay, let's nade. So we got our Aether Shroud. I wonder if nade kills wall and Aether Shroud count. Okay, yeah, we got our Aether Shroud. Let's use it. Might as well find out if nade kills count. We just need 50 kills while an Aether Shroud. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. God damn it. We got another Aether Shroud. Let's use it. Sit back down on our ass. Oh, I should have just been using Death Machine. That would have been a smarter move, I think. Let's get everything back. I better start getting some, like, customer loyalty rewards for going to this Wonder Fizz. Okay, we have an Aether Shroud. Let's use it. Let's bring out the Death Machine. Go away, Abomination. Thank you. Get out of here. Let's grab some cashmeres. Let's grab some Semtex. Let's grab a death machine. And try to fucking live. There's also a nuke out there. I'm gonna grab that. No, I teleported. Fuck. Fuck. Cashmere. Cashmere, you fucked us. Oh, I'm still alive. I'm still standing. Aether Shroud. Woo! Hit the scare package just because our nuke's gone, but our spirit isn't. It's Aether Shroud again. Try to just get kills while we're in here. Come on. Is that the round? Let's go. 61. Let's grab these. Ooh, I think we're good on everything. We just need to go hit the exfil, which is going to be the hardest part. I don't have my Aether Shroud either. Hopefully we can grab it before too many zombies start spawning. Not looking like it. Lots of zombies spawn in here. Cashmere's going down. It actually didn't even go down. Now we just have to exfil successfully. Grab another Cashmere. Cashmere, go. Okay, let's try to death machine this. Abomination. There we go. Another Cashmere's going out. Pulling up Aether Shroud. We have one enemy left. Where is he? Why are you doing all the way over there? Gone. Let's get out of here. Let me in, Raptor 1. Jeez. Okay, so we made it to round 60. We X-filled. We got a ray gun. We got the Crystal Axe. We got some challenges done. And most importantly, we got our, our Dual Lipa Dark Aether. Holy shit. That took two hours and 20 minutes. I'm looking at the recording. Two hours and 20 minutes. At least that was more fun than uh than the Ironhide. But really quick, here's our final stats. 17 downs, 5,000 kills, 5,700 kills, 2,500 crits. We fucking did it. That's 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 all I can say. Did I even finish the challenge? What do I need? Uh, I still need more kills while ghosted or cloaked in Aether Shroud. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get some kills while in Ghost. <sighs> So I guess I gotta go unlock this thing. Because if we go to our weapons, go to our camo, mastery, we have it unlocked. Oh, I guess you can see it. Oh, no, false alarm. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Okay, maybe this is not what it looks like with Gold Viper. Just imagine it. Like, you see the... I, my face cam was in the way the whole time. I, it's, I've been recording for entirely too long. But this is what it kind of looks like with Gold Viper. You can kind of see it on the barrel right here. 
Just imagine that's all over the whole gun and it looks like shit. Just imagine. This is what Plague Diamond looks like. Pretty solid. Very good coverage. Dark Aether. Looks nasty. I love it. Let's go ahead and hop in game and see what it looks like in there. But before we do that this time, I'm saving a custom mod. Because last time we did this with the Ironhide, it was gone. We took away our Dark Aether. Anyways, let's go see what it looks like in game. All right, this is what the Parappa the Rappa looks like with Dark Aether on it. Honestly, the coverage is really good. I took a bunch of attachments off. It still has part of the blueprint on there, so I'm sorry about that. But you get a pretty good idea of what this looks like. Honestly, it adds a nice texture to the camo. It looks very, uh, very wrinkly, honestly. But it, it, lo it works on this gun. It really does. It looks very, very nice. This is what it looks like with a little better camo on it. The little light pink. This gun is actually very clean looking. But anyways, I'm gonna have to end the video there. I've been recording for way too long. So if you like this and you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't, you don't dislike if you're new here please consider subscribing put all kinds of content throughout the week that's gonna be it for me today i'll see you guys next time later